This is the story of what can happen to a guy for talking to a strange woman on the street. Spider-Man is a piece of cake. He's not going to strong with this tub because I don't know. Look, there she is. I knew I'd see her again. Where do you want to go for lunch? I don't care. Thai food. Hey, man, can't you see her? She's great. Right there. No, where? Right there on the corner by the jewelry store. See dark hair, uh, dark eyes. I can eyes. tell all that from here. I got good eyes. I don't know which one you mean. We're never going to get a table, Josh. Okay, you go ahead. I'll catch up. I got to meet her this time. U.S. Census Bureau, and I must ask you a question. Are you married or in love? And I need to be left alone. Go away. <laughs> That's direct. You know, I knew you'd be direct the first time I saw you, which is when you might ask. Well, every day at lunchtime, I always see you out here, and I always want to catch up with you to say hello. 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 Hi, how you Hi. doing? Hi. And every day I always lose you in the crowd. You give me a 30-second head start, you can lose me again. Uh, look out, look out. Look out. Uh, I'm perfectly capable of crossing the street all by myself. Face it, I just saved your life, and therefore I'm responsible for your life, at least until after lunch, so grab an arm. I have met creepier guys than you. I just can't recall when. I knew you'd be charming. You can call me Joshua. Why am I being so mean to you? What? You know, like this with everybody you meet? I know what it is. You're mad because I didn't get you anything for your birthday, right? No. Right? No. Right? No. I know, I know. <laughs> What's happening? How you doing? Hey, man, here. It's, it's similar to Sony Walkman. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't want any of this. I'll stuff. take it. Sure you do. These guys hold this. I've got to work for a living. Look, if you weren't for these guys, we'd have to go in the store to buy things and pay taxes, right? Okay, give me this hand. You're only slightly demented. Only slightly. Look how nice that looks. Oh, See? lovely. Well, yeah. Look, I, I, I appreciate your generosity, but I'm not interested in dating. You or anybody else. You are totally antisocial, which is encouraging. No competition. You wouldn't like me if you got to know me. I'll take my own risk. Thanks. If you excuse me, I have a doctor's appointment. Yeah? Is something wrong with you? No, there's nothing wrong with you. Ah, come on, tell me. What'd you catch? I'm just kidding. Look, it's always nice to have somebody to go to the doctor's with. Somebody out there in the waiting room. Waiting. I appreciate it. Listen, will you just take all this stuff? Look, here. Oh, that's okay. Don't you worry about it. It's unbreakable, just like me. Where's the James How about some merchandise? How about tomorrow? I'll meet you right in front of your building over there. All of a sudden, I'm, I was very busy. Well, you really are sick, aren't you? I'll be all right. What's wrong? I just wish everybody would leave me alone. What? What do I do? Oh, oh gosh. Damn it. Okay, don't worry. I'm right here and I will not leave you, okay? She's down, so send him the ambulance. I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry to put you through this. It's my pleasure. Just let me get my coat off. Somebody call an ambulance, okay? Okay, just okay. right away. Okay, put your head up. Okay, okay, put your head back. There you go. Looks okay. like you picked up on the wrong girl. See how fast you got attached to me? What did she have to drink? So I better cut out those three martini lunches. Especially without me. You're not let me out of your sight, Josh. That's a really good idea. I've got you. I've got you. But I'll stay with you. Don't worry about a thing. Hey, guys, she's right here. Uh, you know, we were just walking, and she collapsed. I, I felt strange all day. I'm on my way to the doctor. I'm diabetic. Well, what hospital are you taking her to? Okay, St. Francis, look. I don't even know your name. Cheryl. Cheryl, what's your last name? What? What? Well, I can't hear you. I'm off work at 6 o'clock. 
I'll be down there to see you, okay? Hey, Stanley, mind if I not go poorly? I got a girl in the hospital. The hospital? Yeah. Personally, I like mine healthy, but, um, well, you know, go ahead, uh, to each his own. Okay, I'll do it right away. Hi, how you doing? There was a young lady brought in here today about 1, 1.15 this afternoon. She collapsed near 57th and 5th Avenue. Her name, please? Ah, uh, her name is Cheryl. Everything stored in the computer under last names. Mm. Uh, she's about medium height. Uh, she has beautiful eyes, dark hair. I heard her tell the ambulance attendant that she was diabetic, if that's any help. Do you mind? No, I'm sorry. That's no help at all. I've been here since 10 o'clock this morning. Nobody came in like that. And this is the only St. Francis Hospital. They never would have brought her here. She got hurt on 57th and 5th. Wait, I didn't say she got hurt. I said she collapsed. Oh, don't give me an attitude. It would have taken her to Roosevelt Hospital. Yeah. Take this there and bother them. Hmm? Thank you very much. Uh, excuse me. I can't read this. Try harder. And don't forget your roses. Again. They're for you. We've only had one Jane Doe in here today, and she's a woman nearly 60. Now, uh, what relation are you to her? A friend. Not a very close one if you don't even know her last name. Doctor, why am I tied down? Don't you get upset, all right? Don't struggle, because you like it here. Well, why won't they let me make a phone call? Oh, we will let you make a phone call. Let you call your roommate. And I want you to say to your roommate exactly what I tell you to. This isn't a regular hospital. We can do things in here they can't do in any other hospital. We can cure diabetes. That's not possible. We take sections from the pancreas of a pig. And then I put a membrane over it that I specially developed for them. We take that unit, we implant it into your body, and you will never have to use insulin again. Stop it! Stop it! I'm sorry, but I... I just like to touch human skin through a surgical glove, that's all. said all the others. There are others? Yes, there are many others. But I promise you I'll do surgery on you before any of them. You just have to wait a day or two, that's all. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Well, yes, eventually I will. But I promise you, you're gonna be in perfect health before you die. Isn't that nice? Comic books? You make up comic books? Well, somebody has to do it. I used to love the old joke books years ago. Especially the classic comics. They got me through high school. But the stuff today, just too bizarre, too weird. Like it's geared for kids who are whacked out of their fucking minds. Comic books scare me nowadays. We well, must scare easily. I mean, for a cop. I'm going to tell you something that uh, I haven't confided in many people who walk in here and sit. Yes, sir. 
I had a nervous breakdown once. Really? That's right. After 14 years on the force, it just came upon me without any warning at all. <clears throat> well, I know uh, police are under a lot of pressure with the, you know, high suicide rate now. I said nervous breakdown. Mm. I've never had one. No? You look like a very driven young man. You having any career problems? Well, if I don't finish 11 panels by Friday, I will. This is her lieutenant. I know her. Yeah. Veronica in Archie. She looks like Veronica. No, she doesn't. Veronica's got bangs. Maybe you just made her up. Now, why would I want to do that? Come to think of it. There's a cop over in the Homicide Division. Looks like Jughead. And he gets all pissed off when I tell him that. Ah, uh, Lieutenant, do you think that we will be able to find her? Sit. Yes, sir. What exactly do you think happened? The ambulance picked her up. Where did they put her? I don't know. Maybe they lost her. Lost her? Yeah. Maybe they stopped at a red light and she fell out. It's not likely, Lieutenant. You take it from me. She'll turn up. One thing about women, they always turn up. Next time she does, ask her what a goddamn name Lieutenant, is. May I draw you the ambulance? May I have to stop you? What do you want? Don't forget, you got a four o'clock dental appointment today. How the hell do you know? You been going to my desk again? Why is it every time I have a cavity, you know it before I do? I don't know what you're talking about. Your car insurance payment is due today. Get the hell out of my office! You're supposed to be drawing a picture. That's what I'm doing. I just said. Still looks like Veronica to me. Thanks. And this looks like one hell of an old ambulance. What? What'd I do wrong? You weren't particularly convincing. Oh, thanks. And you're not very observant. Not a good witness at all. Hey, why, why is it so important for everybody to discredit me? You always hassle girls on the street? I know it sounds really terrible, yeah? Mm -hmm. But I just had to do it. She must have made some big impression for you to go to so much trouble. So? So? You look a little bit more together than most little lunatics that walk in here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Most of them are being pursued by aliens. But then I don't know, maybe you think that aliens were driving that ambulance. Oh, yeah. What'd they look like, the drivers? Well, you know, uh, people in uniform. All you see is the uniform. Thanks a lot. You know, you, you make me wonder. Why would an attractive woman, not unlike yourself, want to be a cop? Well, growing up in the city, always feeling like a potential victim, then all of a sudden you got a badge and a gun and a pair of handcuffs and you don't feel so much like a victim anymore. Mm-hmm. Ever shoot anybody? No, but I'm always hopeful. What do you mean you can't give out that kind of information? What kind of hospital is this? No, forget it. No, forget it. No, forget it. I'll find her myself. Yeah, thanks for nothing. Lose something, Josh? Her. Wow, that's some loss. Yeah, she's actually a lot better looking than this. Yeah, I'm sure she is, but I want to ask you something, Josh. Huh. Are you planning to do any work this morning? Ah, what's the use, Stan? Every female character I draw ends up looking like her. Look at that. Yeah, I've noticed that. In fact, I think it's something we ought to talk about, but... Um... Not here. Come on, let's talk over here, Josh. 
Your drawings have been all looking pretty much alike. You know, Josh, when I gave you that Dr. Strong strip to do, I thought you'd realize what an opportunity it was. I do, Stan. I know, but you know, I don't want to see you blow it on a kind of a girl. Stan, have I ever let you down? No. Nights, weekends, whatever you needed. Look, I traded in my whole goddamn life for this comic well, strip. Look, you've got to work out your own problems on your own time, okay? You do what you have to do, and uh, I'll do what I have to do. Have you seen this one? Have you seen this woman? Have you seen this lady? Have you seen this woman? Do you know her? Yeah, she's my roommate. Uh huh. You know her? Would you care to join us? Why are you walking all over Fifth Avenue with that? <laughs> You've been sneaking looks at me, haven't you? I'd like an answer. Okay. She hasn't been to work in a couple of days, and you're worried, right? You seem really well informed. Thank you. Can I have a pina colada? Uh, bring her a pina colada. She's a diabetic, isn't she? She usually didn't tell people that, especially strangers. Well, she trusts me. Why can't you? Thank you. What? I shouldn't even be drinking these. Well, that was a coincidence. It made friends out of us, okay? I'm a diabetic myself. Big deal. And then one day I go into the refrigerator in the office, and there's her insulin right next to mine. Could someone have actually gotten to it and put something in it? Who'd do something stupid like that? I don't know. Somebody want to make her sick to have an excuse to call an ambulance. Look, don't try to scare me. I'm not trying to scare you. Okay, she's probably already home. Yeah, she probably is. Yeah, she is. There's a phone right there. Why don't you give her a call? Okay, I will. Fine. Here's a quarter. Oh, I really think you're going to need a lot more than I. It's me. I'm sorry to make a problem for you, but I'm in trouble. Got to see you after 8:30. The carriage stable where I work weekend. Don't call the police. It'll only make it worse for me. Was it her? It was her, wasn't it? Tell me. No. It was a message from her, wasn't it? Oh, why am I going to do this alone? If you want to come along, fine. It's just you and me and no cops, okay? Okay, no cops. Where are you taking me? She works weekends. She makes great tips. Seems to me a shrimp cocktail and prime rib entitled me to at least know her last name. Why don't you just wait here? And if she wants to see you, I'll wait. Okay. Listen, Joshua, the local street gangs break into that stable three or four times a month and let the horses out, and it's murder around in a month. Officer, kids did not put a hole in that goddamn door. Oh, really? Door, well, who okay? do you think did then? Look, a woman was kidnapped tonight, officer, okay? A woman kidnapped? No, uh, no. Uh, 
I didn't process. say that. Look, can you contact Lieutenant Spencer at the 33rd Precinct, okay? Tell him what happened. Tell him it was Josh's ambulance, okay? A what? Forget it. I'll call him myself and home. Come on, Spencer. Call me. Bring my phone. I will answer it. Return my call. It's cool. Do your job, Spencer. Come on. Come on. Come on. We'll find you. Here we go. Open the door. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. Jesus, you look horrible. Hey, there's something inside of me like trying to tear its way out. I gotta throw up. Oh, no. Oh. Hey, <gasps> you took me out my lousy oh. concert. Oh. Never call me again. Oh. Hey, you want to throw up in my apartment? <clears throat> okay, okay. <clears throat> you have got to go to a hospital. No, 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 no. What's no, the matter no. with you? You, you could be done! Oh, God, don't call. 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 Don't
The same two guys? Yep. That's what you're claiming? Exactly. Guys, come in here. Okay, hot shot. These are two men? I don't know, Lieutenant. I thought it was the same two guys. I don't mind a few kicks, but to throw up all over the inside of our ambulance. Who do you think has to clean that up? Look, man, I'm really sorry. I'll forget it. I hope you feel better. Thanks. Nice guys. We tried pumping his stomach, but there wasn't much left. Hey, look, I know I was poisoned, okay? Maybe you did it to yourself to get attention. I talked to that stewardess in your building. Patty. She said you're kind of a loner. Yeah, don't go out much, not many friends. She didn't say anything like that, Lieutenant. A lot of people think you're odd, Joshua. At least that's what they tell us. Strange young fella. Not quite normal. How's it look to you? Why do I always have to get the strange ones on my floor? Okay, fine. So you don't believe me? Fine. Let me go home. That wouldn't be safe. Somebody's trying to kill you. Maybe you're trying to kill you. You have to be held for observation. Remember that pervert you brought in wounded last month? He reminds me of him. Why don't you move him to Bellevue tonight? Get him off my floor. Yeah. Is she right, Joshua? Did you do something to that girl yourself? Are you one of those psychopaths who kills girls and goes to the police to tell stories? Oh, yeah, sure. I killed Cheryl. And a roommate, too. Yeah. And guess what? There's no ambulance. Look after him. Oh, sure. Now he's my problem. Great. Be tender. You know, you certainly are attractive. Listen, mister, I don't want any trouble out of you tonight. Otherwise, I'm going to give you something that'll put you under for 24 hours. You'll wake up with the worst fucking headache you ever had. Oh, God, Florence, a nightmare. I've been called that before. Now, I'm looking forward to a nice, peaceful evening. So if you need anything, don't let me find out about it. You won't know I'm alive. What a charm. They're trying to kill me, too. Who? Who? Son of a bitch doctors and that horrible nurse Feinstein, that's who. If I don't get out of this hospital soon, I'll be a dead duck. Nine and a half years, I didn't go to a doctor. I felt fine. Then I let them put their hands on me. Every day I'm getting worse. What are you in for? Who the hell knows? They say cardiac. I say indigestion. Goddamn black and redfish Cajun food. Who ever heard of serving that crap to a non-Cajun? Yes. Hey, but as long as I got insurance, those son of a bitch doctors won't let me go. I uh, guess we were keeping you awake, huh? Are you kidding? I loved every minute of it. Boy, for once I got lucky. Whew. You're some roommate. What would you say defines some roommate? A homicidal maniac for a companion? That's a terrific story. That's a feature that even Associated Press would carry. All the nuts in this city and I'm special. Yeah, particularly if you did kill that girl, like the cop suggested. Sorry to disappoint you. Uh, may I? I'll be my guest. Yeah. Hey, uh... Why don't you make me feel better and just confess? Make you feel better? Yeah, tell me all the grisly little details about where the parts of the body are buried. I mean, after all, I'm a nice guy. I could use the story. To me, it would mean a lot. I mean, let's face it, kid. Look, at my age, they're trying to put me out the pasture. The report sent down by those son-of-a-bitch doctors didn't sit too well with that New York Post city editor who already had put me on obituaries hoping that one day soon I would write my own. Are you trying to tell me that you're a newspaper reporter? The best. I could give you a headline, but they never print it. Well, try me, try me. Okay. An ambulance. An ambulance. It picks up New Yorkers and they're never seen or heard from again. 
a vehicle of mercy that's really a murder machine. I like the one about the homicidal slasher much better. That always sells papers. Look, why don't we stick to that? Okay, fuck you and get off my bed. Fuck you. The grandfather, he says, fuck you. I didn't say I didn't want to hear. I said I'd rather hear something in the first person, like uh, I killed a top New York model. Now, that's a feature story. But, hey, look, who might I be picky? What's your name, anyway? Elias. Elias Zachariah. Elias Zachariah. Yeah, it's a long name, but it looks impressive on the byline. I bet. What are you doing out of bed? My Jane Fonda workout. How many patients have you killed today, nice Feinstein? You'll never know. Did you pee? I'm 73 years old. I peed enough. Get into bed. Okay, and don't join me. What are you doing? You'll need this to sleep tonight. Your roommate talks too much. Worse than that, I snore. Then Cajun food. <laughs> order here to transport one of your patients back to uh, the locked wing at Bellevue. What took you so long? Where's your papers? Oh, your um, night supervisor on the main floor has everything. You're a pretty girl to be hanging around all these sick people. I like feeling needed. My patients adore me. <laughs> I bet. They must still be on break. That's all they do in administration is take breaks while I'm stuck up here with the sickos. I need a cup of coffee. You want one? Oh, I'd love a cup. You know, I hate hospitals. I uh, keep on thinking I'm going to catch something. <laughs> Dr. I like your choice of jewelry. This is just a medical ID tag. I know. I've seen them before. <laughs> you know, you look perfectly healthy to me. Oh! What's going on here? Moving him to another room. What? What for? What? What? What's wrong with? What's wrong with this room? What the hell's going on here? Hey! Wait a minute! What the hell's going on here? What the hell is going on here? Ah! Hey! Hey! What are you guys doing here? I'm talking to you guys. Hey, what are you be guys quiet. Doing here? Don't quiet. tell me it's a hospital. What are you? What are you talking about? What's the matter with you? Don't. Don't. I did. Go ahead. Sue me. I smell smoke. Everybody out! Fire! 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 Sorry, I can't lift you back onto the bed. I got an old hernia from 20 years ago. I can do this. What are you doing pushing around on Gertie? 
They tried to get you. They tried to get me. Anyhow, they wanted to operate on a hernia, and I said, the hell with it. I can live with it, and I did without surgery. Screw them. Your life makes sense when you talk to me. Who, who tried to get, get me? Get in the bed. Get what? in the bed. Shh. Come here. You see Nurse Feinstein, she's missing from a station. Hey, what are you waking us up for? What are you waking us up for? Yeah, can't you keep track of your own staff? She wouldn't have left the station, not her. Well, maybe she went down to see about the fire. There is no fire. fire. Have you been out of the room? Uh, how come the IV's out of his arm? Hey, baby yanked it out in the middle of the night. What, am I supposed to be in charge of him all of a sudden? You, you put a homicidal nut in the room, me, and I'm not supposed to look after him? You think you're getting a new needle, you're crazy. Wow. If you think I'm good with this, you want to see how I am with an enema bag tomorrow. I bet you have a delicate touch. And the two of you shut up and go back to sleep. I'm going to put a pillow over your face, I'll put a pillow over your face. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, I, I don't think you're going to find that terrific nice Feinstein. I think right now she's out screwing some intern. She wouldn't have left the building without her insulin. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you say insulin? Not that it's any of your business, but she's a diabetic. Yeah. <laughs> Those male nurses give me the creeps. Elias, they took her because she's diabetic. Maybe they took her because they thought she'd be a good witness. Reliable. It's only unreliables like you and me they leave behind. You know, I must be on drugs. I'm beginning to like you. Oh, thank you. Just what I needed, a compliment from a junkie. Thanks a lot. Of course you like me. I just saved your life. You got a point. Yeah. Now maybe I'll save your ass. What? They change shifts around here about 4 a.m. So? You and me will sneak into the other wing of the building, and then we'll vacate this morgue forever. Cool. What am I going to do about clothes? Clothes? Yeah. All right, that's no problem. I'll go shopping. Shopping? Yeah, the guy across the hall checked in in a nice suit. I think it was a 38 long. Be a perfect fit for you. my size. Poor woman. Oh, Dad, we knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. We knew it was coming, Dad. Yeah, but why did you have to go before me? Oh, come on, come on. We have to go. 41 years she cooked for me, she cleaned for me, she made love to me. I should have married her. That's enough. Here, here. Come on. You should have told somebody about Nurse Feinstein. Don't worry. I'll tell the whole city tomorrow what happened in the papers. Driver, take us to the New York Post. South Street by the river. For once, those damn computers at the newspaper are going to come in handy. How's that? They'll tell us exactly how many diabetics are missing in the metropolitan area. Cool. Will your editor really print this story, though? Okay, come on. Don't you have any faith in me? Haven't I done okay by you so far? Okay. Yeah, yeah. take the chance. How they lock up after nine o'clock? Too many vandals around here. Okay, what do we do? Come on, we'll go to the employee's entrance. Hey, Elias. What? That's it. That's the ambulance. What's it doing here? What do you think it's doing here? It's probably waiting for us. Waiting for us, and I've been waiting for them. This is my story. I'm gonna go get it right now. Hey, Elias, take this. Hey, come on, go down, will you? Elias. Come on, let's go. I gotta get this story. You take me to these two enormous goons in white. You gotta be right around here. Nobody in there. There's nobody here. But they're around so, here someplace. So they're close, yeah. Look, hey, you think you can get that crazy detective lieutenant of yours to come down here? Yeah, probably not. Look, there's a phone booth it's right on the corner, OK? Yeah. Take a stab at it. I'll hang around here. I'll get a picture of this. No, no, Lies. We're sticking together, OK? Hey, I got the camera with me. Hey, is that all things still work? 
You kidding? Like a charm. This is one of the great charmers of all times. Okay. Oh. Hey, get out of the picture. I don't all want right. you on the ambulance. Right. What the hell is this? I want to sneak a picture of Louis Lefty Buckholder stopped in the electric chair. Right, let's go, let's go. What the hell happened here? Well, I got no money. You got a quarter? Yeah, yeah. The story's costing me money. Yeah, right. You got the number? Hey, I've only called it 25 times, okay? <laughs> okay, it's ringing, it's ringing. Hello, I've got to speak to Lieutenant Spencer. Yeah, he's been looking for me. My name is Joshua Baker. Right. Yeah, they're finding him. They're finding yeah? him. Yeah? Okay. Hello. Hello, Spencer? Well, are you send a million miles away? Where are you? They passed you into my car. I've been looking for you. You shouldn't have ducked out of that hospital. Oh, so now I'm important to you, right? Right, you're now I'm important to him. What a for? What? And there's a nurse missing. Where the hell are you? What? Spencer, Spencer, you're Good. waking up. Working. Static. Hello? Oh, boy. Hey, Ken, it works. The camera How works. How can you I... get to the New York Post? Well, I'm near the East Side Drive. I can be there in six minutes. So stay put. Don't go anywhere. The ambulance is here. Call for backup. Lots of it, all right? I don't need backup to bring you in. Spencer, I'm not talking about me, all right? Oh, for crying out loud. How fortunate. We were just upstairs looking. Yeah, and yeah, we've been looking for the nurse. Yeah, I see you changed uniform since you've been in the hospital, huh? Your roommate must be around here somewhere. Huh? Where is he? You kidding? Where do I come off making things easy for you guys? Come on. Give me the camera. The camera? What? Hey, you don't want pictures? You don't get pictures. Who wants to look at you ugly son of a bitches anyway? Hey, the warranty is up on this thing anyway. It's an old piece of junk. Hey, where are you going? Hey, I used to swim in this river when I was a kid. Hey, you guys want to follow me in? Come on. Come on, the four of us. We go skinny dipping. All right, let's... I'm yours. No, for once in your life, do something somebody else suggests, okay? Don't come alone. Look, Sonny. Don't tell me how to do my business. No. 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 from cardiac arrest. 
I want to see him. Open the door. Glad to see you. Maybe you can give us a police escort to the hospital. Glad to see you, too. Step out here where I can see you. Right over here. All right. Slide the gunny out. You could be costing this man his life. One hell of an old ambulance. Gently. Stand where I can see your hands. Top of the vehicle. Sir. The police. Sir. Hurry up, let's get out of here. Yeah. It's Officer Malloy. What do you want? Open the door, Josh. What are you doing here? He left about a dozen calls for Lieutenant Spencer. So? So. I'm taking his messages. Yeah? Yeah. Does he know about that? called in sick with the flu. Yeah? So I went over to his apartment. Yeah? He lives by himself. I was worried about him. Yeah? Nobody was home. Yeah? So I went back to the office. And I looked through his messages. I went with a girl like you once. She used to read my mail. One of the messages said, why didn't you show up last night? What's that supposed to mean? It means he still thinks I'm out of my goddamn mind. What do you think? This stuff over here, it's yours, isn't it? Your work. Now, out of all the art in here, how did you know that was mine? Huh? It's a little bit off. Off? Off what? A little twisted. Twisted? Yeah. You make up the words, too, the bubbles? No words. Just pictures. I got something for you. Okay, check this out. Direct from one hour photo. Dun, 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 dun. That ambulance again. That ambulance again. Too bad you can't make out the license number. Well, it was taken by an old man with an old camera. What do you want? What was the old man? Mr. Elias. Who's Mr. Elias? He's a buddy of mine. He was trying to help me out. Another missing person? How did you know that? Everybody you meet disappears. That don't wash. Even Spencer. I told you Spencer ignored me. Well, maybe he didn't. So reporting missing. What are you waiting no, for? No, I can't do that. Why not? Spencer's had a few lapses. Like lapses? That. I can't get him in trouble. Why are you calling Spencer all the time? I was calling Spencer to tell him that Cheryl, her roommate, and the nurse 
are all diabetic. So what does that have to do with ambulances? Okay, anybody can buy a secondhand ambulance, spruce it up, put on a couple of white jackets, and cruise around New York City picking up what? Diabetics. Yeah. Where's the phone? It's over here. Hey, you know I'm on to something, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you have to on nine to get out. You have to wait for dial tone and then you dial. Thanks. I'm gonna check on the ambulance first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, this is Lieutenant Spencer's office at the 33rd Precinct. I'd like to get a rundown on registration of ambulances. Models 65 through 75, uh, Cadillacs, red and white jobbies, custom, but they might have been repainted. Could have been used in a possible homicide. Hey, thanks for helping me out. Yeah, saying thanks is cheap. Well, I could buy you a present. That would be a bribe. Yeah. Thanks anyway. Don't do that again. Why? Because you're thinking of Cheryl. Close your eyes and you'll be kissing her. That's cold. What makes you so suspicious of everybody anyway? Huh? My police training. So keep your distance. Oh, yeah, that's right. You still want to shoot somebody. You had only wound. Thanks. In an outfit, where do you keep your gun? Huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, hold on. I, I got to write it down. Okay. Good. Five West. Yeah? You got a lot of work to do. Third precinct, Lieutenant Spencer. Hello, beautiful. I'm at your fourth junkyard. And it looks like they picked up some of the accessories here. They even dug up a bill. Sold to J.R. Rothstein, 32 Tompkins Street, Manhattan. Probably a funny address, but I'll check it. And don't call me beautiful. I hate that. By the way, Lieutenant Spencer still hasn't shown up. Chief of Detectives is beginning to think he shot himself again. Shot himself again? Yeah, you don't know how depressed cops get over guys like you. Okay, I'll meet you at the precinct in an hour. I do not want to miss this total fucking vindication. It's your lucky day, Joshua. Oh, for Christ's sake, what a shitty time to get money. Uh, you guys want to use the phone? I'll be out as soon as I call a cab. Taxis? Scared to take the subway? <laughs> Well, I gotta roll the tokens. Don't you think it's safe? You look like you've been in a few fights before. I got run over. Yeah? You're gonna get run over much worse this time. I want some spare change. Hey! Ah. Yes. Hey, get
You wanted to know all about this. Now you will. Hey guys, how you doing? Long time no see. Where you been? Come on, you guys. I gave you money and you're down and out. I never fought back too hard. I apologize for ever fighting back at all, okay? But these guys, they're gonna kill me. You're gonna kill him? Run along, asshole. Hey guys, you know what's in that ambulance? Drugs. They got morphine. They got heroin. They got plenty of clean needles. You guys will never have to share your needles again. Go for it. Why don't we have a little look, huh? Go away. Hey. This is your turf, man. You gonna let him talk to you like that? This big Samoan? Kick his ass, man. What, are you a pussy? Hey! Why don't we just take a little look for ourselves? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, look, they got everything in there. Right, oh, yeah, hit him! Oh. Hit him! Oh. Hit him with that! Hit him! 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 Hit him!
Go back to the vehicle. that committed this homicide okay. running out of the park oh, okay. with a knife in his hand. He's a big Cuban guy. Be quiet. The police are up there. Look, you're gonna help us. God damn it, you're gonna nail him for me. Come on, you answer the man. You saw him, right? They're over there. You're gonna be my witness, okay? Nobody's gonna hurt you now. Forget this. What do you mean, forget over this? Over there. No. And you want me to forget about it? Hey! What are you doing down there? The stiff's up here! Bring it around! Can't hurt They're you! Over. You gotta get them! You gotta get them! They're over there! They're over there! We got them, damn it! Hey, McCloskey, I don't know anything about your dead woman in the park, okay? I was just trying to get away from them. Them? Who's them? Hey, didn't anybody call Lieutenant Spencer's office? How come you're always asking the question? I tried, Spence. He's out sick. He's not out sick, okay? He's missing. I don't know Spencer well, but I think he's some kind of nut. He didn't kill himself. Hey, you said anything about him being dead? Hello, officer. What happened to you? Now, this lady can explain everything. Officer Malloy, 33rd Precinct. Excuse me, officer. I'm in an interrogation. Yes, I know this guy. Hey, Sandy, I was actually in the ambulance. Wait. They had me inside and I got out. Wait, this is the ambulance that he drew. That's it? That's mine? I drew that? Where's your yes. photo? Huh, I lost it. Is, what does this ambulance have to do with the corpse we found up in the park? Not a damn thing, stupid. Stay out of this. And we'll talk about it later. Hey, Sandy, I know one of the kidnappers is named either Vinny or Vin. Will you let me talk to him? How did you find out his name? I knocked over a bag of their stuff. Some of the stuff spilled out. Joshua. And there was this, yes. Slow down. Okay, there was this uh, dark blue jacket with these gold buttons and this monogram over the left pocket. Yeah, it was, it was on top of the left pocket. And yes. it said V-I-N-T. What? You're pretty close to this guy, aren't you? What's that supposed to mean? What it means is I got a potential murder witness here, and you're off your beat. So if you don't disappear, I'm going to be forced to call your precinct captain and see if he knows what you're up to. Will you look at this computer printout? Eleven diabetics, all on missing persons reports in the last two weeks. Look at this. Now I know where I've seen your face before. Chuck it. You look exactly like Jughead. Shut the fuck up. Hey, McCloskey, do something about this. I had this Jughead bullshit since grade school. I'm sick of it. So if you don't want your teeth rammed down your throat... Take it easy, you guys. He's thought me. This is... this is not my case. On what authority are you getting into this? Look, just let me have him for a minute and then he's all yours. He's already mine. Go ahead, but be snappy. Thanks. Excuse us. Excuse us. You said... V-I-N-T? Well, that's all I could see. The Sandy, I know that was only part of the name. Okay, I'm going to check it against used car dealership purchases and changes of registration. Cool. Have we gotten any word from Spencer? No, I'm really worried about Sandy, it. Sandy, don't touch Okay. Out. Okay, you sit tight. What are you going to do with him? I'm going to hold him for the lineup. You see, I think he saw the Cuban who did the killing. And I know he's going to admit it. You go chase ambulances. 
Thanks for your cooperation. Hey, Sandy, thanks. Hey, be careful. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. What are you doing in the park? Give me a couple of minutes with this clown. Hey, McCloskey, I admit it, I am no good at faces, but this guy, he looks exactly like Jughead. Huh? I'll take care of him. That blue. You have amazing powers of recovery. I'll be all right. I'll get out of this and I'll write the whole goddamn story. And you know what I'll say about you, Doctor? That you're a fucking nut. <laughs> I'm not alone in my madness, though. I distribute patients to more than a dozen private research facilities all across the Eastern Seaboard. You mean sell? I mean, this is a money-making proposition? Yes, of course it is. The experiments with laboratory animals are very often inconclusive, so sooner or later we have to turn to human subjects. And those who survive my implant surgery, they'll be sent out for further testing. Until they die, right? Well, what are you keeping me alive for? I'm no diabetic. I know you're no diabetic, but you're my bargaining chip. The young man likes you. Everybody likes me. Maybe he can be convinced to tell the police that he made it all up. It was just one of his comic book ideas. You mean he's got you scared shitless? Don't you ever do that again. All right. I'm not going to ask for a second opinion, believe me. I'm very interested to see an old man like you can tolerate pain without dying. You're crazy, aren't you? And you know it. What? what are you gonna do here? Keep talking. Hey, listen, you son of a bitch! Just a few seconds before this reaches your central nervous system. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <sighs> Most of you doctors drop dead on the golf course. The only time the public is safe is when you're out of the operating room playing golf. Okay. Oh, blue. Yeah, okay. 
McCloskey here. Who's this? Yeah, McCloskey, listen, this is Officer Roy. Oh, it's you again. What's that goddamn music? I'm at 22 Barrack Street, the Vintage Club. I think I'm in trouble. Oh, let's not get over dramatic now, Officer. Sure. I hear you're fine. Hey, Baker. Uh -huh. You must have some way with the girls. Oh, yeah. She's all the way down at Barrack Street, and she's found your ambulance. Let me talk to her. Sorry, she hung up. Bosky? Yes? What is wrong with you? If she found the ambulance, she's in trouble. So we go down and witness the lineup? Uh -huh. Well, okay, wait a minute. Guys, I got a complaint. The lineup is a waste of the police department's time. You want to know what I really saw? I'm ready to talk. It's about time. Okay. The person that stabbed that girl in Central Park was not your Cuban suspect. Not even close. It was two guys, ambulance attendants, and they got away in an ambulance. I saw those two guys. You're not bullshitting us, are you? McCloskey, they tried to kill me. I was scared to death. But now I've got the NYPD on my side. I'm not scared of nothing. I will identify both those guys and the ambulance. Why the hell didn't you tell us all this before? I was just about to. This man. Which forced me to adapt an attitude of civil disobedience. I formally apologize. I'll write it down. I'll put it in writing for you. 22 Varick Street. Just what I was about to say. 22 Varick Street. Let's, Let's go. go. Yeah. New York's hottest, newest nightclub. My name is Tim Bird, the third man from Hot 97. And we have a very special guest with us tonight, Cynthia from Chicago. Give her a nice round of applause. In the round, we have the bikini contest at midnight and prizes to give away. Hang in with us. Hey, baby. I got everything you need right here. How about coming back to my place? No. She's with me. No, I think she wants to come back to my place. Hey, I said she's with me. I'm with him. Have a real good time. Thanks a lot. You got it. Come on, let's dance. Uh, no, thanks. Oh, come on, just one dance. Okay, but I'm uh, waiting for somebody. We'll make him jealous. <laughs> What's the matter? Something wrong? Uh, yeah, I, I might be in some trouble. Oh, yeah? What kind of trouble? Maybe I can help. No, I don't think so. You got a strong lead. I took lessons. Where are we going? Oh, upstairs. I just want to get to know you a little better. What's up there? Oh, VIP rooms, privacy, you know. Uh, no, thanks. Uh, there's my friend. There's nobody there. Nobody's coming. <clears throat> All right, lady, take it easy. Hey, no customers allowed in here. I'm Get not out of here. Customer. So you don't like my selection of music? Turn on the PA. I'm a police officer. I need help.
start this riot. Somebody fired off a few shots. Who? Me. Yeah, did you hit anybody? No. Well, wasn't that smart? Firing off a gun in a crowded club. You can kiss your badge goodbye. They were trying to get me upstairs in this elevator. Close off the area, the tunnels, the bridges, everything. You won't find it. You will not find it. We got to get up here for sure. Police officers, come out where we can see it. Do you see her? No, not yet. It's okay. I do. What? What do we do? Just take it easy. Williams, take it easy. Turn take it easy here. Yeah, I'm at 22 Barrack Street, second floor. Listen, I got a whole bunch of people lined up on blood bottles and things like that. I need doctors up here. You okay? Nice job, officer. Also, I'm gonna need the meat wagon. How you doing? 
Do you want to use the telephone to call Robbie? I need some emergency. I don't need a phone. Hey, Robbie Powers! Your girlfriend wants you. I mean, fuck him. I need some sleep. Well, would you mind if I called Robbie? Be my guest. Okay. I can kill her without making a sound. Now the both of you are gonna walk me out. Now. I thought you were a real cop. Oh, oh shit! No, this! That was dirty. Hey, Elias! Yeah! yeah. Hey. Oh. It's Jesus so good to Christ. see you. Hey, okay, cut the romance. Hey, no talking to reporters, right? Nobody. And eh? remember, I get the exclusive. Exclusive. This could mean a Pulitzer Prize. It's yours. I'm Mr. Zachary. I'm Sandy. Oh. How you feeling? Elias. Eh? How am I feeling? Hey, never mind how I feel. Just get me to a typewriter, will you please? Oh, maybe after you rest up. Nothing doing. First I write, then I rest. And then if I die during the night, so what? Hey, McCloskey! I'm armed and dangerous. Hey, this... hey guys, he's not a cop. Who did that? Me. He did. With this. Where have I seen that face before? This is going in style. Yeah, you deserve it. Have a drink. Watch some TV. To Elias Zachariah. Elias. Elias. You know, I gotta be honest with you. I'm a little scared. Why? Well, to go home and to spend the night in my apartment alone. That's a mystery. I could stand guard outside your door. Would that make you sleep better? Yes, that's good. Okay. But what if, this is a what if, what if someone came through the window? You wouldn't even know they were there. I could sit by the bed and hold your hand. Mm-hmm. I like that. But what if someone were on the other side of the bed or under the bed? Oh my God. Or even between the sheets? Well, do you think you should be a little bit closer? I could get between the sheets with you. See? That window right in the middle of the exit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, that's my apartment. Thanks. Okay. You. Hey, thanks for the ride. Yeah. Nice guy. <laughs> what a day. <dick>, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. I lost my keys. I believe it. Yeah. Uh, I might have lost them when, when those kids beat me up in the, in the junkyard. Ah! Come on, 
you will die. I could have cured thousands of people. If it hadn't been for you, will you tell me for brain? You have to wreck it all! I wanna die, goddamn you! Come on! So die! Often, guys. Share an ambulance? Wow. <laughs> wow, you are a wreck. You're a mess. Oh. You are beautiful. <laughs> and that's what can happen to you for talking to a strange woman on the street.